Alright, so how do you blow a fusible link? Well, I was laying the wiring harness down and just figured I'd start plugging things in. And I actually ended up plugging in the CAS to the idle air control valve connector. Um, apparently it's the same connector and I wasn't really thinking or looking and I was like, oh, well, that looks close enough and plugged it in on the driver's side of the harness when in reality it goes over to the passenger side and connects over there. Uh, then I was trying to turn the ignition on and jump the starter switch to see if I get oil pressure and fusible link blow, blue. So, basically, I guess what was happening is uh, this connector for the idle air control valve, whichever one is power, was grounded through the crank angle sensor. Um, so I had to look at the wiring diagrams um, after I figured out that one of these fuses blew over here. It was this one on the far end. I took it all apart already. Um, found out that it was one power wire that went to a whole bunch of stuff. So I was like, well, what was it? And it was the thing that I plugged in, cast into the idle air control valve. And it turned to that. So I was able to get the, uh, I guess this would be called a pin out of the connector. It was pretty difficult. I think what I ended up doing is using a uh, small nail or brad to actually stick up in between the two tabs like that. And there's a, inside the clip, there's a plastic uh, lock that fits right here where the head of this nail is. So you have to go in and push that plastic lock down and then pull the uh, pin out. So it took a little bit of trying, but I finally got it out. So I think I'm going to try and either reuse these connectors or maybe check and see if I have some uh, other ones that might work. All right, so I got some 16 gauge fusible link wire from eBay. I did get some 14 gauge, but it just looked uh, way too big. Um, this looks a little bit closer to what I need to do, what I need to use. So I think to start, I might try and reuse the existing pins. This little soldering iron I have isn't doesn't get hot enough or I can't use it properly in order to um, melt the solder and I just ended up like messing up the little pin there. So I'm going to try and use these other little pins I have and we'll see what happens. I'm just going to strip a little bit of each of this fusible link wire off. Just trying to get it a little bit more. Okay, good enough for whatever. I'm going to try and use this. Right, I'm going to try and use this uh, soldering iron to get a little bit of solder in there. I don't think it's going to get hot enough though. Mm, there it goes. Got a little bit in there. Maybe it'll be good. Let's see if we can do this other side. I mainly, ooh, it's warm. I mainly use this little soldering iron for, uh, oh, it's burning the insulation, this I mainly use this soldering iron for, uh, plastic repair. Let's see if we can adjust this. Ooh, that's hot too. I'm gonna call it good. Well, I say that. Let's actually get the multimeter and see if it has continuity. All right, found the multimeter. We'll put it on resistance. Oh. Always check the connections here. What's going on? Not even, yeah, there we go. 0 0.2, 0 0.3 ohms. And we got 0 0.1 ohms through the new fusible link. So, I'm gonna try and just use this other pin in here. 
Looks like it went in okay. And it is stuck in there. So let's see if we can plug this in. All right, so I'm going to attempt to put this back together after I took it apart. Uh, I think there were just a couple clips holding this in. Okay, yeah, just a couple little clips right there, those little black clips, tabs, look like they just clip in right there. So then we'll plug these guys back in. Other fusible links. So now all we need to do is connect this fuse link and the two tabs in there. And this uh, goes in there like that. I'm wondering if I should screw this back in now or wait. Maybe wait. So here's the new fuse link. Mm, doesn't want to go in all the way. So the new little mm, New little pen is not as secure in there as the old one. Let's see if we can finagle it. <sighs> Might be finagled enough. And then we'll connect these in there. See, that one feels real weak. I don't even know if there's much feasible length left in that one. <clears throat> The new one, yeah, hard to get in. Might need some like needle nose or a pocket screwdriver. All right, got a pocket screwdriver. Just gonna try and press this down the rest of the way. There it goes. That one's in. Now just put this. Down in between all these wires. Somehow, maybe I should put this in first. Uh, oh, there we go. Quick, quick. <coughs> all right, so we got both these new, well, one new fusible link, the other old one in. Uh, got this little plastic retainer in. There's a clip over there, clip over here. I'm pretty sure this connector is all the way in. I am going to press on the back of that pin. Just make sure it's all the way seated. I think it is. So now we'll screw it back into the uh, inner fender in here. Kind of hard to see, but I can't even see this. Get a big old battery. See if we can, oh yeah, drop it. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, put that, this doesn't fit. Oh, uh, and that's not lined up. There's a little cover down here, nothing's lining up. Yes. Uh, dropping it. Dropping it again. Get it started. Well, let's get it started. There we go. Get started. Okay. Let's see if we can get these. No, it doesn't want to. Doesn't. You gotta be. Oh my god. So that's all good, all good. Um, the only thing we need to do is see if the fuel pump primes. Oh, I'm a little nervous to plug the battery in now. The fuel pump did just prime. 
and this uh, blown fusible link was on the, or the fuel pump was on this blown fusible link um, circuit. So I'm gonna go ahead and call that good and we will put the cap on.